Hello, today's video is on stock number 35670ME, uh, battery capacitance uh, meter. Uh, it comes from the factory set at uh, 12 volts DC lead acid battery setting. I'll get show you later in the video how to change that. Uh, first things on it, uh, it fits in a nice little cutout panel. You see it snaps in place. Um, got the full bar graph, nice visual. It has two buttons on it. When it's in operation mode like this, uh, this is just an uh, on-off. Uh, the other button, the arrow button, switches between Celsius temperature, Celsius only, and the voltage of the battery. I currently have this hooked up to a little benchtop power supply just so I can show you how, how, how it works, it, how it, the function, see the bar graph go up and down. Uh, with a 12 volt lead acid battery, uh, full bar 100% is around 13.2 volts. So as I turn down my, my power supply, you can see the, the, the bar graph and the percent drop. It'll go all the way down to about 11 volts and that'll be about 20% battery capacity and then, then that will start flashing the uh, visual low-level alarm. Visual only. I'll explain to that in a, in a little further down the, in the video. See so once you get below 11 volts, it's just right at the trigger point. You have a little red flashing lightning bolt letting you know that there's a you know, warning it goes away as soon as it gets back above. Uh, let's see also it has like I said it will stay on as long as you keep it powered up or press it off. There is a feature that allows you to have an auto shut off. I, I will show you how to do that when we get into the programming here. Okay let's let's start on programming. Uh, press and hold the the arrow button here and this brings you into the programming mode. You use that same button to step up and down all the way to five, then back to one. Uh, it can just recycle over and over. Now this is how you program what type of battery you want to use. Press the on off. L comes up. That is lithium batteries. P, that is lead acid batteries. F is lithium ion phosphate batteries. Uh, let's see We'll start off with this one. You hit the on off button again. It starts off with two cells. That means how many cells are, are in the battery pack. Believe it or not, you really can't use less than four or the voltage gets too low for the meter and the meter will just doesn't have enough power to operate. So minimum of four cells all the way up to 26 cells. Then it goes back to the, the beginning. So once you're done with that, you go to the on off button, press and hold and it disappears. You're still in program one, so let's say we want to go back, oops, go back to one. I want to change this back to my lead acid battery. Once I select P for lead acid, press the on off button. Starts off with 12 volts. You can use 24, 36, 48, 60, 72, 84, then back to 12. That's how you would uh, program what, uh, what, what voltage you want your system to use. Press the on off button, it disappears again. It's the same function for the both the lithium and the lithium ion phosphate battery packs. You can't really use less than four. Uh, the voltage too low, then you can run up to, uh, let's try it, lithium. Oops, back to one. Lithium. Press the on off. It starts with two cells. That's too low. You can't really use less than four. In lithium ion battery packs, it's good for up to 25 in series. Now let's get back to our lead acid. Yes. Okay. Okay, that's program one. Press the. Now, anytime you want to get out of it, uh, you're in program mode. This side is blank. You just simply press and hold, and it'll take you back to the operating mode. So let's get back in and see what function two does. Okay, this is the auto shut off feature. It comes factory set at zero. Uh, if I hit this once, it comes over here. That's 10 seconds, 30, 60, 120 seconds. Hit this again, the off button, 
and we can turn it on just to show you. Now we got what we want, we just press and hold, press and hold. Now it should after 10 seconds automatically turn off. And that's, that's that function. So every time you have to hold this, uh, after 10 seconds it will just auto shut off. And we want to turn that off. Okay, we're back in the program two. Program three actually allows you to manually set where you want the bar graph from zero to 100% is. So to enter, you hit the on off button. When both settings are at 10 volts each, it, it uh, uses the factory program, but if you want something different, different levels for your bar graph, oops. Let's say I want 0% at 12 volts, okay? Or you get a tenth of a volt. Now this is at the 100% side, the upper limit. And let's say we want that at 13 volts. So this bar graph from 0 to 100 will be between 12 and 13 volts. Okay, let's enter the programming mode and get the voltage, as you can see. Get the 13, it's 100. As I turn it down, right at 12 volts is zero. And that little red flashing lightning sign is always at 20%. All right, so that's if you want your own custom range on the bar graph. Let's go back and set that back. Oh, already came back up there. So let's get off. And as you can see with those back to 10 each, it's, it's back to the original settings of roughly 13.2 down to 11. Let's get into number four, which unfortunately we did not find out when we ordered this first batch that there is a low level audible alarm uh, feature but they did we did we bought the version without the without the inside internal buzzer so this feature is not really useful on this version of the model next batch we will definitely order the low level audible alarm i'm sure i'll have to redo this video when we get that batch so essentially function four is is not is not not usable in this model. P5. Now be very careful with this one. Um, you can. It's a calibration feature. If you find out for some reason, like you got too much voltage drop from whatever reason, from where the battery is to wherever you're monitoring, you can use this to calibrate. You must have a very accurate 20.00 volt power source. Um, you would hook it up to it. Uh, you will press and hold the on off button and after a set time it will recalibrate to that being the 20 volt set. Uh, once you do that you may not be able to get this back to an accurate reading so be very careful if you use it. Uh, see that's that's it. One, two, three, four, five. Oops, I'm going to recalibrate this thing. Uh oh. Let's see if I can escape before I see how long it takes. Well, essentially, as you can see, what happens if I do recalibrate it, there's going, actually, it won't let you, and I remember reading in the manual, if it's less than between, between 19 and 20 volts is where it'll allow you to recalibrate. So if you need to calibrate it outside one volt, uh, it's not going to let you do it. So I guess that's, that's something to keep in mind. Uh, and my little power supply here won't go above 18.6. So that is the main features of the meter. I hope this answers your questions. Also, I guess one last look so you can see what the field of view is. You can see it below, looking up at it, it wouldn't, it kind of, the LCD kind of fills out, but it's pretty good straight on, looking down, left and right. Let's see if let me out of that program, back into the 
operating mode. All right, well, thank you for watching our video. I hope this answers your questions.